Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Well this week we happen to have a hurricane out in the Gulf, so we're getting a lot of rain. So I apologize about the audio in advance. I'm going to teach you how to make this photo gallery carousel and candy dish. So stick around, we'll get right into it. Now that I've got the mahogany strips ripped down to one inches wide, I set up the miter sled on the table saw and I put a stop block up so that my pieces are four and three quarter inches from the long point to the long point on each piece that I cut. And now, as you saw last week, uh, this framing jig, you'll get to see what I do with it um, when I glue up small frames like this. And these cams create enough clamping pressure, uh, it's really all you need. Okay guys, for the next process, I'm going to create a small rabbit on the full length of this board. And then I'm going to take it over to the table saw and I'm going to rip my individual frame pieces, bring it back over here to the router table, make another rabbit, rip that piece off, so on and so forth until I get all of my frame pieces and you'll see how it comes together in just a minute. Okay guys, our outside frame pieces uh, are 5 sixteenths of an inch thick. Our inside frame pieces are 7 sixteenths of an inch thick. They have a quarter inch rabbit, 3 sixteenths of an inch deep. Now I went ahead and I cut all the pieces for the back frame because these two frames will be glued together. Back to back for all four sides. But now on the top piece of the frame, on the top of the frame, we need a place to be able to pass the backer board, the glass, and the photo in and out so we can change the photos and things from time to time. So on these top pieces, I'm going to go ahead and leave one long piece all together. I cut a rabbit in it. That way I can go through, mark out where my top piece is going to go, and then I can hog out this material. And that will allow for the backer board, the photo, and everything to be able to slide in and out so we'll be able to remove it. And then I can go back over to my miter sled, cut my frame piece out, and then get ready to glue everything together. And I need to do that four times for the top of each frame. I'm going to do a small little round over here where it rounds over into the glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my outside frame pieces and I'm going to double side tape them together and that way I've got a small little eighth inch round over bit here and I have something to run across the bearing. I could do one side then flip it over and do the outside and that way it'll round over uh, the outside of each of the four frame pieces that I have. Okay guys, the back frames are all glued up and finished. All my front frames have their face routed. And 
they're ready to glue together, but before you glue them together, you need to make sure that this rabbited area on the back frames where the glass and the backer board are going to go, you need to make sure that your parts fit and slide in nicely. And if they don't, now is the time to widen these rabbits up a little bit. You can take a, a chisel or a card scraper or something just to open them up to where you have a nice fit. Now, the glass for these um, picture frames, I say this every time I do a, a project with glass in them, you can have your hardware store cut the glass to the size you need and, or a glass company, where, whatever's easiest for you to get to. And the best thing to do is bring them a template. This is an eighth inch hardboard. Uh, it's what I'm going to be using for the backer board on these uh, picture frames. So I just took a piece, I made sure I had the right size that I wanted for all four pieces, and I just took a piece to them and this is what they cut my glass down to. How do you like my colorful clams? <laughs> I got them from Harbor Freight. Don't laugh. They're great. They're handy little suckers for little things just like this. And they're cheap. Alright, the frames are all glued up and I went ahead and made sure everything was all nice and square. Now it's time to come and cut the 45s off of both sides so that way we can glue the box together. I want to go ahead and dress this up a little bit. I'm using mahogany but I want a little bit of contrasting wood so what I'm going to do is once this is done gluing I'm going to cut in 45 all four of these corners and then I'm going to glue in some maple on all four corners. So here's where we are with our picture frame carousel and uh, the box is all glued up and the, the corners are all done, the maple corners are all done. Now I'm working on the lid. What I've done is I went ahead and cut a piece of mahogany to about the same size as the inside of this box. What I want to do is I'm going to be edge banding the mahogany all the way around with some maple and then when that glues on I'm going to go ahead and edge band it one more time with another piece of mahogany and when it's all done it'll be the same size as this box here okay guys I have the lid glued up I just need to sand it and then put the profile on it that's going to match the profile of the base I've got the pieces of the base cut and just taped together for right now uh, it's going to be a little bit simpler for me to assemble that way and I've got a small quarter inch board that uh, I'm using for the bottom of the box and basically it's going to sit in there and then the box is going to be glued on like this and then we'll have the lid once I get it all cut down and everything Okay guys, I'm going to try to finish this up while it's raining, so I'm sorry about the audio. We've got the lid done, we've got the carousel done, now's the time to put in the Lazy Susan. And you can get a Lazy Susan, uh, some hardware from Lowe's or any hardware store. I happened to pick this up off of eBay, and it's just a little plastic Lazy Susan, uh, basically with a couple of ball bearings and everything. and. It'll get mounted just like that. Um, actually, it's a pretty simple construction to make, and I think if you can get a hold of some ball bearings, you could actually make this out of wood, and I might even give that a try for my next one to see if I can make one of these Lazy Susans out of wood. If I do, I'll shoot a little video of it. But now we're getting ready. We're just going to screw in the uh, Lazy Susan, and basically I'm just going to center this up. You don't want it down too tight. You want it to where it'll be able to still spin. And that way, you have your photo carousel. So now all we have to do is put some photos in it and fill it with some candy. All right, guys, well, that wraps up this week's project. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, before we go, I got one last bit of business to take care of. 
If you guys are following me on our A Simple Design of Ocala Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash A Simple Design of Ocala, you'll know I'm giving away some DVDs from the Woodworkers Guild of America that George Von Driska had given me at uh, IWF to give away to you guys. So I had a fun fact quiz, and the quiz was basically this. George Von Driska is a luthier. What event does he hold that involves building guitars? Well, the answer I was looking for is guitars for vets. And a lot of you answered correctly. All of your names have been entered in for this drawing. And what I've done is I put all the correct answers, the names of the correct answers, inside our little candy dish box. And we're going to draw one right now. We'll give it a good shake. So. And I won't peek. And the winner of the DVD is Eric Rush. And I hope I pronounced your last name right, Eric. Eric, congratulations. Get a hold of me at Laney at AsimpleDesignOfOcala.com with your shipping address, and I'll get your DVD out to you. Now, guys, I'm going to be giving away a couple more of these DVDs, uh, and I'm going to put up another question, a little fun fact quiz. So I hope you participate and answer for your chance to win. See you soon.